Hey guys, and welcome back to Color Your Town. In this video, we're going to be doing some Thunkable, which is a platform for iOS and Android uh, app development. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a simple app um, called Read Aloud. And what it does is that if you type something in, it'll say it out loud. So, um, it'll use the text to speech functionality in Thunkable to do this. So, let's get started. So, this tutorial doesn't need any Thunkable experience or coding experience. So, any person can do it. So yeah, so the first thing you have to do is go to Thunkable.com, which is Thunkable's website, and click on Get Started. It'll ask you guys to log in, but since I'm already logged in, I'll be taken to uh, win, uh, something like this where you can make a new app. Um, if you're in the login screen, just press on um, um, cross-platform iOS and Android um, to um, get started. Yeah, so now let's click on create new app. And now let's call this app. Uh, read aloud. And now let's click on create. Now, you'll be taken to an interface like this. This is where you can do your Thunkable uh, coding. So, um, there are two parts of Thunkable. One is the design and one is the blocks. So the blocks is where you would do your, all your coding and stuff, and the design is where you would be able to um, customize the layout of your app. So in Thunkable, you can make many different screens, and each screen is like a different, a different part of the app, and you can easily navigate between screens too. And Thunkable uses drag and drop coding, which will be really easy um, if you don't know uh, like text, actual text coding yet. And anyways, let's get started. So we need to make a text box so that the user can type in um, the text they want it to be read aloud. So what we want is that we need a text box, we need a button, and when you click on the button, it want you want to uh, get the text to speak to say something on your phone. So first thing we can get a text box, which is the text input. Just drag it over here. I have already done that. Next, get the button and drag it below the text box like that. If you failed, you can. You can uh, drag it wherever you want, like that. And yeah, so now we can now so so the text on this button just says button, and we can make that easier to re uh, read. And we can say like click B, or we can say read aloud, and. Um, a good practice to do is to rename your uh, the name of the button. So this name, the one that says button one, is the name you'll refer to in the coding, which is in the blocks. So to make it easier to refer to, let's just say it read button. And for the text input, let's rename it to input. So now we got a basic uh, thing. So we got the layout done. So the last thing we have to add is the text to speech component. So if you look down here um, in the voice uh, section, you'll see the text to speech. Now this is what Thunkable calls invisible components, and you can't really see it on the app, but it's actually there. And you can use it to refer in the coding. So now we're done with the layout. Let's go back to blocks and 
um, and the code. So our code is actually pretty simple. All we need is we need to uh, get so when the button is clicked, so when this button is clicked, we want it to speak this text over here. So how we do that is that first let's go to the button, lead button. So um, in the blocks, there are actually many tabs in in um, like control, logic, math, text, etc. And uh, all of some of these tags and these tags tabs are specific to these objects. Like the text to speech is specific to only text to speech. And these are like more general ones. And any component is for like um, things um, that are like any types of component. So like if you have multiple text inputs, we can do like from all of the text inputs like that. So anyways, we can go to the lead button specific ones. And when this button is clicked, we want text to speech to speak something. So the text is going to be um, the text of this text box. And how we get that is that we go to the input and we get from input get text. Like that. So when the button is clicked, it will speak this text. So now let's try it out. So how we try this out is that we click on live test. And there are actually two ways to do it. One, you can actually do it on your phone by downloading the app. But I'm just going to do it here right on my computer. So let's say subscribe to go to Cal-Tom. Okay. I'll uh, read this aloud. Like that. And no matter how we change this text, say hello, it will speak it out. So yeah, guys, and that's how you make a simple app using Thunkable. We'll be doing more parts on Thunkable, more videos on it, so yeah so if you guys like the video make sure to like subscribe join my discord server um the link is in the description join it and make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and goodbye